my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie. I'm a mum of three and on my channel I post videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. And today I'm continuing on with my decluttering journey. I was in the kitchen last week and this week is all about the living room diner. So it's a small space. We literally just got a sofa and a coffee table and then up that end we've got a sideboard and a dining room table and a bookcase um and of course my monica cupboard there so you can have a sneak peek at that um i am going to do 15 to 30 minutes each day i don't want to go overboard i'm just gonna get it done get it filmed for you and then move on to whatever else needs doing around the house. And I hope that it will inspire you to do some decluttering too. It doesn't have to be a big job. It just needs to be broken down into smaller jobs to get the job done. Today, I'm gonna to start off with our TV cupboard. The room as a, as a general rule is quite tidy, but it's the pockets, it's the cupboards and the drawers that are the problem. And these two drawers here are gonna be done today. Okay, so that is cupboard number one. And it's just, I mean, it's just a mess, but I'm gonna sort out every single wire and I'm gonna see what's in those boxes. And then this is cupboard number two, which is basically all old We Fit things and some other stuff that I think can go to charity. I don't even know if these work or things don't belong here or I need to see if they still work so I need to sort them all out but otherwise all this stuff here doesn't work and or is just rubbish anyway so bonus Today I am doing the bookcase and if I just talk you through these two shelves first um, we have got this photo frame can you see it's delightful it says designed by decorative frame by Sainsbury's this should have William in it I've got one for Lily I've got one for Grace little scan photo and I bought it three and a half years ago um, and it's still doing. So I'm gonna get that down and I'm going to print one out and do that today. Um, these books up here, I've got Harry Potter, I've got the C.S. Lewis books, and I have got my Cecilia Ahern books, which I adore. I'm not getting rid of those, I am not. Um, but I do have one of Grace's up here, and this one is a Christmas book, which I, might have been sent it, I have no idea, um, and I never read it, so I'm gonna read that now. It's always a good time to read Christmas books. And just gonna rearrange these. Um, so that's actually just done. Um, if you want to know what this is, this is a Remembulations jar. Um, it says, be your own success story. And I made this and inside are all things that have made me happy, made me proud of myself, just little things that make me smile. Um, and then at the end of the year, you open it up and see all the things like that you're grateful for, that have made you smile, made you happy, made you have a lovely year. So instead of a New Year's resolution, it's a remember-lution jar, a remembering of how well you've done all year. Um, so if there's any achievements, if you ran a marathon, you'd put that in, or if you your child tied their first shoelace, like things that you're grateful for. And that's that really. Um, but then moving on to this shelf, I have got, oh God, anyone else's child a rainbow or a brownie and the badges, all the badges you have to sign on. So this is where I put my things that I'm procrastinating on. So I might 
I might do them this week. So, but they don't belong up there. I'm going to put them there so it reminds me. Because otherwise I just forget. Forget stuff. Um, anyone else? Philip cups of junk. So I'm going to sort through them in a second. Um, I have a spare Tony's thing. I should give that to somebody. And a candle that my friend bought me. So that can stay there. A trophy that Grace got for football. Um, a fake plant. Oh, fake plant. And of course my two girlies. Um, and a camera case. So these aren't too bad. So besides these cups, which I will sort through in a second, or the third one there. Um, there's the fern. Her trophy doesn't belong up here. I don't know where it could belong, but there, look, see? Doesn't take much. And even if that's only time you had available to you, that didn't take long. So the remaining shelves, I'll speed it all up as I go through them. But as you can see, it's just books that I need to deal with but the bottom the very bottom shelf is recipe books so i'm gonna crack on this i don't know if you can see that parisian lookbook is a really good book the joy of less Today's the last day I'm going to film as part of this video, but I will do the Monica cupboard this week, but film it as a standalone video. Um, but today's the sideboard. I've got two cupboards and four drawers to get through. Let's go. So this is when I hit a dilemma. I'm like, well, cocktail glasses are lovely, but I don't use them that often. But then they're the sort of thing that I guess you keep in a sideboard because for the times that you will need a cocktail and we have ingredients to make cocktails, you'll want a nice set of cocktail glasses. Similarly, I mean, this was a wedding gift um, and it's a Royal Dalton crystal glass it's beautiful i've never used it because i have the fear of breaking it um so i don't know what to do with it i don't want to get rid of it because it's lovely but then at the same time why am i keeping it why am i keeping it i can't even remember who gave it to me which is terrible um i don't know answers on a postcard salt and pepper things we just don't use them We're not really a salt and pepper people and, uh... okay so i decided <clears throat> what i'm going to do is i've taken them all out of the boxes and i'm going to put them in the drinks cupboard as they are so when people want one of those drinks the glasses are there i tried them in the kitchen was not working for me so I thought I know I will put them in the cupboard with the actual drinks that they go with and that makes sense you made a mess down there. I did make a mess William I did why because if you make a mess then you can tidy it up neatly all the napkins can go in there and they'll get used up as and when
gonna leave the video there uh but i just wanted to show you this is this is all to go so all of this either needs to be found a home which we have some stationery that lives in my monica cupboard so i'm gonna tidy that away now the the excess stationery there and then all this is probably just going to go to charity like bibs and stuff he doesn't use anymore so i am past the bibs and muslin stage um but yeah just charity 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 all of this just don't want it don't want it don't want it i hope you enjoyed the video this will be going live on sunday as usual so you'll be watching this on sunday and then i will make sure my monica cupboard is uploaded a few days after that and then I'll be back next week with the next room in the series. See you then. Bye.